morning everyone welcome to a very very nice day up here in scotland it's very mild we have beautiful blue skies and it's actually warm oh my days <laughs> it does happen sometimes um i'm coming in with some news about different things to bring you up to date with the giveaways and lots of different things going on and obviously we're going to do our lovely race to 1000 now, I've told you about Tracy Fox and her giveaway. Well, she's drawn the giveaway this morning and we've got the two winners, one on Facebook and one on um, YouTube, which is absolutely lovely. But I wanted to come in and just show you some wee tags that I made with the kit. And I'll also do a wee flip through through the kits again in case you haven't seen them. Um, the actual thing that Tracy was doing was that you had to make something with bugs. Our oh, Tracy loves her bugs, didn't she? Doesn't she? So I've made some of these hanging tags. Now how these originally came about was that Tracy went into Fat Face and saw their tags and when she saw their tags she wanted to make something similar. She wanted to have this this whole idea and the concept with the ball chain and this is this is how she actually came about doing them. And I've done them in different ways over, you know, over the, over the last couple of years, different ways of doing them and, and different fabrics and everything else. And I just think they are so lovely. They just are really just such a lovely thing to have in a journal. Now, these particular ones and a couple of others that I need to finish, I will be putting in my Etsy store. Now that's part of the news is hopefully my Etsy store will be up and running on Saturday. I hope inshallah um so hopefully i'm finally there i have been adding things and i've been trying to get the correct information down it's a lot harder than ebay ebay it's quite easy and i can handle that but this was a lot harder to do anyway on these tags um obviously the backgrounds which i'll show you when i do the flip through are fab but obviously you want to add your own stuff to it now like with the spider one i've got like a book image here now the book image was part of a piece of um book paper that came from our friends at karma collectibles um and there's another one here the colored images and a couple of other images came from um the graphics fairy now I'm going to link them below when I sh and I'll also show you the sheets because they have the most lovely things and it's free. You can join Graphics Fairy and be a premium member but there are things that are free and they're all copyright free so it means that you can use them on your works and sell them or you can use them in graphic designs and sell that. Here yesterday, these are the black and white images that I'll show you shortly, and I decided to use some of the lovely Distress Oxides and water them down and do a little, just add a little bit of colour on some of these yesterday. Um, I just thought it just made them look so much more lifelike. Um, and so I had a lot of fun yesterday morning. Um, couldn't sit for too long, because those who know me know that I've had a urinary tract infection and I've also got conjunctivitis so I'm having a really really good week this week um, these images are just so beautiful this one as you can see has come from from again from the same sheet from Karma Collectibles you know the book page um, I used to have a really really bad fear of Maybugs and I am just not a made bug person at all. And I really, really cut him out. He was about two inches long. This great, great big bug beetle with a big horn on him. And no, he went in the bucket. <laughs> I just, I just, sorry, I couldn't. Sometimes I'm okay. I'm all right with rain beetles. <laughs> But this one, it was like, no, can't, can't do that. So I'm afraid he went in the bucket, that one. Uh, I'm still working on that. Now, seeing the snail, um, we have African snails 
or at least I do, and it, they belong to the grandkids, but obviously the grandkids are not here at the moment. Um, our African snails, we were given two to look after during the holidays um, when my grandson was living here. And uh, by the time they went back after the holiday, they'd had babies, ones at the school. So we landed up keeping the ones that we were that we were looking after and then we got two more from them because they'd had that many babies they didn't know what to do with them um and the kids downstairs and a couple of the other kids and that on the estate love to come up and see them and and look at them because they're they're fabulous i mean they're absolutely huge they really are and they're absolutely lovely um so we have snails in the house um not like all the um things that keep coming up into my bathroom i keep getting slugs and the only thing i can think of because i'm on the first floor is that where downstairs i've got plants in like grow bags up against the wall underneath the bathroom i think they grow climbing up the plants to a certain height and then coming back coming right up so i keep finding slugs and they, they, they go outside and i don't think it's the same ones coming back in because i throw them out the front and it's at the back of the bathroom is so hopefully not Anyway, on these lovely tags, uh, the ball chain, you can get this. This is Some of it is Tim's Holtz that I use, which is absolutely lovely. But if you go on eBay, you can get it a lot cheaper and you can get the connectors as two and you can get them separately or together. Because you know what it's like when you buy something like connectors and, and ball chain together, you're bound to run out of one before the other. Um, so do look around if you're going to buy a ball chain. This is the lovely... Um, stuff that i put on the package for the giveaway uh it's called bias binding um and it's not anything like the stuff we have here here ours is, is a cotton type uh fabric and it's it's cut on the cross and then obviously both sides are ironed down um um but this is totally different from the stuff we get here but it's lovely on tags now on the back on all the backs, what I've put <coughs> is, again, book paper. And the book paper has come from, again, Karma... Car ugh, put my teeth back in again. <laughs> Karma Collectibles, my friends. Um, is some of the stuff that I actually won off them. They, um, they are doing another giveaway at the moment, which I put on my page uh, on Facebook. Um, this is a page that I just picked up this morning. And... I was laughing because it had the origin of man on it and I've actually got that book <laughs> I've actually got a copy of that and I'm going to be using this later but what I love about the papers that I get from the, the guys at Karma Collectible is the aging on it they're absolutely lovely and it's the feel of old paper you can't beat it I was working with um, some old paper that I had from school and the feel of that compared with the paper you get today, there's nothing like it. So I'm going to link our friends at Karma Collectibles again in my video. Um, so do go and have a look because they're so lovely and they'll say there is a giveaway going on. Now, <coughs> this is one of the printables. I hope you can see this okay. This is one of the printables from Graphics Fairy that's free totally free to use and do what you like with and this one's another one with one of my pals in the middle um, if I turn it this way you can actually see the moths properly and all the buggy bugs they're having a lovely ugly bug ball here um, and there was another one that I used as well now I will link these so that you can find them quite easily um, but I would recommend if you're looking for copyright free to go to the graphics fairy there are a couple of other places that I go to <coughs> when I'm looking for things and I will link them to over the next week or two um, because I'm going to start doing some makes, you know, craft alongs, but I won't do them very long. Um, I think, you know, I love watching Wendy and Leo and Gail and Paula, but I know a lot of the people who watch me work or they've got families and they don't have time to sit for a whole hour so i'm going to do quite quick makes you know things like these bookmarks and show you how i do these 
um, because everybody does things differently and sometimes when you've been doing things a long time you find a quicker way of doing it so I'm going to start doing that shortly in the next week or two now I'm just going to flip through these kits of traces that I made the lovely tags with <coughs> sorry I've got a frog in my throat it's all those bugs isn't it I clear it. Right, now this one is the bug book. Um, I'm going to lift you up a bit and hopefully you'll be able to see this a bit better. Uh, that's the cover and then she's got some lovely little embellishments on the side. Here's a couple of the tags and this is the index again with some tags. Now these are the book pages with another tag now obviously these book pages you can cut them down the middle you can resize them if you want to um, I printed these particular ones on um, the largest you know um, I didn't do shrink to fit and there's so many things you can do with these um, we have a lovely dung beetle here bless him um, and I think that spider, even if you don't like spiders, because it is such a lovely image, I think you, you would cope with that quite well. Uh, so we've got more of the book pages. Now Tracy's done a video showing you her lovely ring bound book that she did. And I think these, I mean, these tags are just absolutely beautiful. They would go in any any journal at all I think they would make absolutely beautiful tags to pop in your journals and then we've got some digi ones as well and of course I just left them at the size and that's how I did my hanging tags so that's the, the bug book and this one is the floral and they're, they're similar obviously in style with a book cover we, we words down the side. I absolutely love this index. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And more. Well, I mean, I just fell in love with this one straight away. It's it's just so gorgeous, isn't it? And I will do my demo in using this particular kit. I will, you know, um, because we've already done the bugs. They're absolutely fab, aren't they? They are really, really lovely. Now, one thing I will say, it depends on your pr printer as to how the um, brightness comes out on, when you're printing. Um, I've got a Canon that I love, but it's a cartridge. And before I got my Epson Eco Tank, it was costing me like £45 a month just to fill the thing up. But I love it because it does the borderless printing. Um, so... Eco Tank, you are amazing. You've saved me so much money. Love you to bits. But I do like my little cannon sometimes. Now, um, I'm just going to talk about the giveaways. The lovely Sam, she got in contact with me straight away. Now, Sam was in second place. I haven't heard from Christine yet. If I don't hear from Christine, then obviously she will forfeit and it will go to Sam and then we will pull another one another name out of the hat and hopefully you'll get more than one second of recording so you'll actually see me do it and this is the mini giveaway obviously from Friday if I stick it on the back of this you'll be able to see it a bit clearer if you go into the videos you will find this is actually right on the front the picture of, of the thanks is on the front so don't forget to go and enter this yes you can google the answer i really don't mind uh it was all just part of the ugly bug ball and all the bugs that, that tracy was doing so it'd be lovely if you could go and enter that would be really really lovely and i will be drawing this one on saturday it will end friday night and then i will do the draw on saturday live when we do our race to 1000 again now i'm going to be doing the race to 1000 twice a week I will keep a list of who we are putting into the race to 1000 in case you miss and then obviously you can do if I, I keep the little list on my YouTubes that I'm doing 
you can go in and see who who we're helping and who we're who we're doing at the time. Now, obviously, the two girls who started it are our Susie and Thelma, and they will be linked. And Wendy was the first one that we did, and then we did. Where are we? I've lost her. She's on the back of this one, isn't she? Our lovely Jane. Now, our lovely Jane, she does a giveaway every month. And my goodness, they are packed. Now, the biggest surprise I had was the drawing this week. And I won it. I was just absolutely gobsmacked. When there are a few of us who kept watching Jane and watching and seeing if her numbers were going to go up and you know Sunday it was so exciting watching her get to that 6,000 and then suddenly to be chosen as the winner I, I was amazed I'm absolutely amazed and I will show you what I'm getting when it all arrives and I am just blown away by it. I will also link Karma Collectibles because they're part of what we're doing at the moment but the new one today is my lovely friend Sharon from Connection of Lives and Interests 2020. Now, Sharon is doing a, um, a giveaway, but it's a bit different from most. You have to email her with bits of information. I will pop the video in and please look for her little yellow family. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Balloons with little faces on and they are just so amazing she is so lovely so let's give sharon our attention this week let's get her up there give her a few more likes and subbies and push her up and it would be amazing and do go and join her giveaway now talking of giveaways i will be doing another giveaway that will start next week now, I've been approached by two different people after I've, you know, I messaged them as well. And it's about people who are going to help in the giveaways. Now, I'm going to tell you who they are on Saturday, tell you what's involved and tell you what will be part of the prize. Now, this next giveaway, which is a big give, big give, giveaway like we did before with a big package, will be drawn on my birthday. Now, my birthday is the 6th of October. Now, normally, I don't pay attention to my birthday when the kids were growing up. I refused to give them money to go and buy me something when I would prefer to have the money to spend on them and what we need in the house and, you know, general living. So, I've never really, really paid much attention. But I thought it'd be nice to just to do a draw on my birthday this year. Um, so, that's the 6th of October. So, that will be another one coming up and I say we've got two lovely people who are joining us to give you something as part of the giveaway so it's not just going to be what you're getting from me there's stuff coming from two other people now one of the people joining in is Victoria Minxy Barron from Northern Craftaholics now Victoria and I were talking this morning and there's going to be a lovely discount code coming for you guys and She's asked me to be part of her design team. So I thought that was just so lovely this morning. I really did. But I will tell you more about that Saturday. Um, so that's lots and lots and lots of information all coming together today. So it's all sort of a bit of a much, but it's all to tell you what's going on. So do please, if you haven't already entered the mini giveaway that will be drawn on Saturday, early Saturday morning, do go along and do that. I will link that as well. And I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. Um, I'm just amazed. Uh, hopefully, I'll get back to that 400. We did have 400, but obviously, when you do giveaways, you lose some of them. You know, the people that come along and just come for the giveaway and disappear again, which I was expecting. <laughs> In fact, I didn't lose as many as I thought I was, so I, so I was really, really chuffed about that. So I'm hoping by my birthday I can get to 500. That would just be incredible so thank you thank you thank you everybody have an amazing thursday i hope it's as beautiful where you are as it is here in hoik today have an incredible day bye